Hi everybody. I am uh, in the library today and we have to wear masks, but I will take mine off for story time because nobody else is in here with me right now. But I wanted to show you my Santa mask. I thought he was pretty cute and he matches my shirt. So I wanted to show him to you. Whew, he's warm. Santa is warm. All right. How are you guys today? It snowed. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. I'm so excited that it snowed. I love snow. I didn't think I would want snow because it's been so sunny all year that I've loved that. And I thought, I don't want it to snow this year. I just want it to snow on Christmas. But it made me happy yesterday to see it snowing. And did you guys play in the snow? I did not because I was working, but um, I wanted to. Now, I want to tell you that I have December craft bags ready for you. So if you need one, give me a call at the library and I'll get those to you. Um, you can do curbside pickup. We're not open at all for anybody to come in right now, but I wanted to show these to you. Um, the, what we have inside, first of all, is a jingle bell. Because I usually when I have story time, I give you guys bells to do jingle bells, but I just decided you know, I can't do that, so I had these in my storage shed, and I thought, well, I'll give everybody a bell that they can use and keep for story time to do jingle bells, so you can have that. And we're going to be doing jingle bells this week, next week, and the week after, so you kind of need one, maybe. And if you have some bells at home right now, you can go get those if you want. Just take a minute, though, to do it. I'm going to show you some of the crafts that I have for you guys in here. I have a wreath with all the decorations. I have a Christmas tree with all of the decorations. And then I have some things to color. I have crayons in there and a gingerbread house and a, um, a nutcracker. And then the bell. You know, I have some other things that thrown in too. I'm not sure I haven't done that, but you know, you never know what mistakes you will find around the library that would be fun to add. Um, I also wanted to tell you that we just finished up our story hike for in November called In November. It was really a beautiful book and I hope you got to go. Um, and we gave away a copy of the book and let's see, um, and then we have another story hike coming up in December. Really, I'm gonna set it up December 17th, so be aware of that even if it's snowing. I walked through the snow yesterday around where we put the story hike. I took beautiful pictures in the snow. You need to wear boots, but you need to go too because it is gorgeous in the snow. So um, hopefully there'll be snow when I do the story hike. And it will be a Jan Brett book. And Jan Brett has some books behind me here. Which way do I go? I have Home for Christmas set up here and Christmas Trolls. That's not one of the books that we're doing for the story hike. And I'll have really cute craft to do with that one too. So make sure you go and then call me about the craft and we'll get it to you. All right. So hopefully you had some time to go get a bell. And if you didn't, it's okay. You don't need to have one for today. All right. Let's do some songs. Let's see. I haven't practiced these ones in a long time. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. I'll not do that one because Stacey would have to stand up, and I'm not going to do that one today. Figure out how to do that next week. I don't know how to stand up in front of the camera yet. I've been doing this since March. All right. This is Ten Little Snowflakes. You know this one? It goes like this. Like this. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, ten little snowflakes on my tongue. All right, that's the first verse. And then you do it again, and it's on my head, on my hat, on my mittens, and on my boots. So we'll do it four times. Ready? I have to cheat too, because I don't remember. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight Nine little snowflakes, ten little snowflakes on my tongue. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, ten little snowflakes. 
snowflakes on my hat. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, ten little snowflakes on my gloves. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, ten little snowflakes on my boots. Good. Go fast. Can you count to ten all by yourself? That's what that song is to help you with. Okay, I'll put this over here. Bring that over there for now. And what do you see here? You see some elves. And what are they holding? The girl elf is holding a stocking. And what do you see in it? The same thing that the boy is holding. Only his is bigger. They are peppermint sticks or candy canes. And this one goes like this. I took a lick of a peppermint stick and ooh, it tasted yummy. It used to be on a Christmas tree, but now it's in my tummy. All right. All right, now this is an old um, nursery rhyme that I um, associate with Christmas, and I don't know why, but that's okay. This is Jack the Anvil. And it goes like this, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. Why would he do that? Would you jump over a candlestick? I hope not. That's not a good thing. So that, I just want to share that one with you. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. And that's an easy one. All right, this one's fun. This is kind of like the wheels on the bus, only it's about the Christmas tree. The lights on the tree go blink, blink, blink. Uh, the other one goes, the train under the tree goes two, two, two. The bells on the tree go jingle, jingle, jingle. We'll use a bell for that if you have one. If you don't, it's okay. And the cookies at our house taste yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, so it goes like this. The lights on the tree go blink, 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 blink. The lights on the tree go blink, blink, blink on Christmas Day. The train under the tree goes choo choo choo, choo choo choo, choo choo choo. The train under the tree goes choo 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 on Christmas Day. The bells on the tree go jingle jingle jingle, jingle jingle jingle, jingle jingle jingle. The bells on the tree go jingle 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 all Christmas Day. The cookies at our house taste yummy yummy yummy, yummy yummy yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. The cookies at our house taste yummy, yummy, yummy all Christmas Day. All right. What else are we going to do? Uh-oh. I think I put something down. No, nope, it's okay. A lot of my songs are movement-oriented, and I can't do them when we're not in person. All right. So we're just going to do a few. We'll do Jingle Bells next. that bell again. Ready? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. All right. Another one I want to do, and I don't have a card with it. When we do the apples way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smile at me. Well, we're going to do two little candy canes. So you kind of put your fingers like that. Kind of look like a candy cane. Way up high in the Christmas tree, two little candy canes smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could, and down came two candy canes. Mmm, were they good. Don't shake your Christmas tree. That's not what I'm telling you to do. All right, I know you won't. And our final rhyme and song is Grandma's Glasses because we almost always end with it. All right, can you do this to make your glasses? Pinch your fingers together. Good job. These are Grandma's glasses, and this is Grandma's hat. 
and this is the way she holds her hands in her lap. These are Grandpa's glasses, and this is Grandpa's hat, and this is the way he holds his arms and takes a nap. Oh, I can take a nap today. I don't know why, just because it would be nice. Good job. Did you build a snowman yesterday? I hope somebody did. I didn't. Neither did my kids. They were all studying. They were working hard. Snowmen at Christmas. I like this one. This is by Carolyn Buner, and the pictures are by Mark Buner. Look at that good old snowman. What a great snowman. Here we go. On Christmas Eve, I made a snowman very fat and jolly. I dressed him up in red and green and trimmed his hat with holly. I saw his arms were trembling as if he couldn't wait. It made me start to wonder, how do the snowmen celebrate? Hmm. I think that while I'm snug in bed dreaming of Christmas treats, the merry snowmen slip away and hurry through the streets. You see the snowman scurrying away? I like the lights in his window. When I was a little girl, until I got married and moved away from my parents' house, and there still are lights in my window, my bedroom window. They were beautiful. They glide down the snowy avenues with lamplights all aglow. The sleeping city blanketed in freshly fallen snow. It's like yesterday. They pass by toy shop windows framed with twinkling lights, pausing for a peek or two at holiday delights. Look at them down the street in the quiet town. Oh, I just love winter and Christmas time. The jolly snowmen gather from everywhere around for a Christmas party by the center of the town. Waving to each other, they call out cheery greetings. All their friends and family so happy to be meeting. Look at that. Look how beautiful their town looks. You see the lights on the trees? Wow. How beautiful. A few merry snowmen start trimming the square. Soon, holly and icicles are strung everywhere. And then, reaching high for everyone to see, they hang balls of snow on the big Christmas tree. Look at that. See everybody helping to decorate? They look like they're getting ready for a snowball fight, but they're actually decorating. How wonderful. The snow children play freeze tag or red rover or climb in a stack till they wobble right over. Do you see them wobbling back there? There they are. They're silly. You gotta be careful. The mothers lay out all kinds of cold treats, ice cream and snow cones and dainty ice sweets. Look at the snow cones over there. Oh my goodness, how fun. I don't think I would want a snow cone and a snow party outside of it. Then the dancing begins to the tune of a fiddle all the snowmen line up and sashay down the middle. Oh, that looks fun. I used to dance like that when I was in elementary school. That's our gym class. Someone says, hush, could that be a jingle? Then over the hill glides the snowman Kris Kringle. Snowmen have their own Kris Kringle. You know who Kris Kringle is, right? That's another name for Santa Claus, he opens his sack with a jolly ho-ho, and he pulls out their presents, each made of snow. Can you see those? Look at those. A train, a puppy, a robot, a jack-in-the-box, teddy bear, all made of snow. How exciting. Look at this one. Look at him. How excited he is. Oh, my goodness. Are you excited? Oh, my gosh, me too. Santa sips his cocoa, which is what I would have. The reindeer romp and play, and then, with a whistle, they're off on their way. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Santa. <gasps> oh, snowmen have such.
such fun. But there's still one more thing with hearts full of joy. They hold hands and sing. While the fiddler plays and sweet silver bells ring, they sing songs about snow and the birth of a king. The children are sleepy. The grown-ups are yawning. The snowmen go home. It says Christmas is dawning. Look at him holding it his hand and this little snowman baby on his back. Aww. They're all back in their places when Christmas Day starts. The feast folks made of snow have a glow in their hearts. Their smiles are more tender. Their eyes softly shine as the snowmen dream dreams of their Christmas time. I like those pictures. They're beautiful. Merry Christmas. Do you have your Christmas tree up yet? I don't. I don't have my big tree up. I have a little one in my dining room. It's not decorated with the lights are on, and the lights are so pretty. But I'm getting there slowly, and I'm sure your parents are getting there slowly, or maybe they're already done. It's hard to tell. I wish I could hear your stories about how your Christmas time is going. Uh, you guys have a great week. Play in the snow today if you can. It will be melted this weekend, of course. And hopefully we have some for Christmas. I will see you next Wednesday right here in the library again. And um, we'll do another Christmas book. All right, you guys. And in the meantime, if you don't already have your your craft pack with the jingle bell in it, call me and I'll get one ready for you. Or if you're not going to be able to do that, find some jingle bells in your house. I'm sure there's some somewhere from last year or in the Christmas decorations that you can borrow from mom. All right, you guys have a great week.